Hi Tom, this is yet another RC channel. I guess it's time to give you guys some more parts for the uh, excavator. So today I'll give you the slewing ring and the top plate thingy and the main hinge. Make sure you watch the whole video if you're going to print it because there will be uh, some hints and tips spread throughout the video. So let's go into Fusion and uh, see what we got. So if we start with the slewing ring. It's only four parts. And uh, when you print this, it's crucial that your printer is really well adjusted for the X and Y axis. I printed a calibration cube at 60 by 60 by 60 millimeters. So it was quite large because then it, uh, the measurements are more accurate. So ma make sure it's uh, calibrated or uh, this one won't be round. And if it's not round, it's gonna lock in uh, different positions. So I actually got to test the uh, excavator the other day and I found uh, a small issue with it. The plate sits too close to the belts. So I'll adjust the slewing ring with a few millimeters in height to, uh, to lift the whole thing. And the, the main plate, if you want to print it, it's quite large. But if you want, uh, if you like me, you want to just make it out of metal. I also got this. Uh, let's just hide the ring. This is just a template for the holes for the hinge and the slewing ring and the motor with the center uh, marked on it. And you will get the the new version of the main hinge. This is the hole for the for the cables it goes to the motor, and it should be a lot a bit bigger. Let's just uh, make a bigger hole. The easiest easiest way. Four, fifteen millimeters. Do a fillet to get rid of some sharp edges. So I'll show you something on the drawing, but I'll also uh, show you on the hardware itself. These holes for uh, is for nuts for the um, for the slewing ring. So what you do, you assemble the slewing ring. Then you make the top plate, and then you put your nuts inside these holes, and then you attach the hinge uh, to the, the plate, screwed from uh, underneath, wherever there's uh, holes all the way through, and then you attach your slewing ring from the bottom to put in these nuts. There for the mounting of the slewing ring. There's room for one here and here and also here. Yeah, there's one more thing. These holes on the inner lower parts is for attaching the, the slewing ring to the undercarriage. So I used the nylock nuts and I glued them in. After you have attached the hinge to the top plate and the slewing ring underneath the top plate, then you attach this slewing ring to the undercarriage. And then you don't have access to these holes, so make sure that you glue in your um, nylock nuts in these holes before you attach anything. Use glue, CA or something, because if you lose it, you have to uh, detach the whole thing from the top again. And I must say thank you to the 394 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, you can be just as awesome by hitting that red subscribe button just below the video. Watch this video up here about uh, assembling of the slewing ring. And I also link uh, a few videos in the description about the about the hinge when you are going to attach the arms
So the next part in this series will be the arms and the bucket. So I guess I'll just uh, see you in the next one.